All right, it's time to do another Shannon Reads Those Books book review, kind of, sort of, maybe, kind of. Hey, everyone, it is Shannon, and I'm here today to share another book kind of review, not really, sort of, disclaimer video up above explaining what these videos are about, which is basically I'm trying to catch up with a bunch of books that I never reviewed that I feel like I should review, and even though now it's been a fair amount of time since I've read them and the reviews are not going to be good or well-researched or any of that stuff, I still, still feel the need to do a video. These are more like reflections, reactions, than reviews proper. But um, yeah, I still did them. So if you're unfamiliar, the Shannon Reads Those Books uh, exploration is something that I started back in 2014, um, where I recognized that I wanted to uh, increase my reading comprehension as well as gain some cultural context for a lot of um, highly referenced works. So I ended up putting a list together of a whole bunch of classic books, iconic books, uh, influential books, Zeitgeist books, and I put the whole big list together. It's over 400 titles. I don't plan on reading them all, but but I do, it's a lot to pick and choose from. <laughs> and yeah, and so I've been working my way through them ever since. So today we're going to be talking about Pride and Prejudice. I know this is a favorite book for many people, so feel free to not watch this video if that is one of you. Just a disclaimer. So yeah, so this is by Jane Austen. It is the 40th book that I read for the those books exploration. I read it back in August 2018, which was, I'm, I'm, I, it feels more recent than that. It was published in 1813 and it made three of the lists for my this. It was the number one title on the librarians list. It was the number two title on the BBC Big Read and it was on it is on the Book Riot Zero to Well Read list. Um, and I gave it, oddly, it was only not on the Modern Library list, um, which has very few women authors on it. And it wasn't on the Canadian list because it's not Canadian. So those are the five lists I'm working for. And I gave this one a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 for Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice. This is one where it's I do find it a bit hard to talk about. And it was intimidating to have it as a selection because I know how many people love it. I knew the likelihood of me enjoying it was going to be low because I have not enjoyed the adaptations that I have seen of it. Um, and um, I feel like it's also one that you know a lot of the story just from. This is one where it's the reverse. I feel like I have a fair amount of the cultural context, but I have not read the original text because there's the Karen Knightley version in terms of a film. I know there's one other film I've seen. There's the BBC series that everyone loves, which I haven't seen. Um, and then it gets, it's a story that comes up again and again in other iterations. For me, I actually think I probably know it best from Bridget Don't Bridget Jones's diary. Um, <laughs> and uh, one of my uh, ways I got myself to read this is that I told myself that after I read it, I could finally watch Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. And I watched that with my sister Susie. And that was so much fun. So thank you to everyone who did decide to read along as a part of um, to read this along with me. I know Izzy from Punk Rock Girl PA did. And I know um, Beth from uh, oh, ooh, State soul stained ink did um yeah, i think she like me has a different our channel names and our like what our name comes up with when we type is different so sometimes it's like okay what's their channel name so <laughs> soul stained ink i know she read it and it is much beloved but i did not enjoy it so this is i always feel like the this is referenced and is like a romance a romantic story but i did not feel that it was very romantic i felt like there really were romance moments but overall i found it was more like family drama it follows um, a, a family where there is all daughters, so they're worried, the, especially the mom wants to marry off the daughters and make sure that they're doing okay, and there is also some worry as what will happen to their place because, um, you know, they don't have a male heir. I don't like reading historical fiction that much. I really like to read stuff like once women have rights and can vote and it's not all about who you marry. Um, so that doesn't really ring true with me. There are some things that I liked about this one in terms of the fact that I liked that, um, I really liked the grit of the protagonist. And wow, I am blanking on her name. Is it Elizabeth? It feels like it would be. 
Yeah, so as I mentioned, I'm not researching these. I'm doing a whole fell sloop of a whole bunch of these <laughs> reviews at the same time. So anyway, so the protagonist, she really does have a lot of grit with her. She's not willing to give up. She has a real strength of character, and which is very, which was very refreshing to see. Um, and but the ch I found the big challenge with this one is that the character of Darcy, I really feel coming at this with all of the cultural context that people love Darcy so much that I felt like I, one, couldn't get uh, my original, like I couldn't get a non-reactionary point, like perspective on what this character is like because people are just like, oh, Darcy. And it's fine, everyone's allowed to have their own reaction, but it's like, it's like ubiquitous. Everyone loves Darcy. It's like, well, what, what is it? And then you, like in the book, I find like you meet him and I'm like, why would you like this person? They're not nice, they're actually quite mean. And so both of the characters have this sort of like dig kind of thing in them. And I don't like that, you know, like I don't, I don't, I don't get sarcasm. Like I usually don't understand it in the moment. And then I also don't, get joy from it like uh, in terms of a uh, humor style so it's just that that again that sort of like you know and he, he he neither of them do it well sometimes they don't do it jokingly and sometimes they do do it jokingly but one of the things that i think is great about the story is that you do see them see something in each other that is special and how it is part of their personality and they appreciate they each appreciate that on a on a person to person level and don't and and it's and it feels like as opposed to being viewed how you would normally be introduced how people generally tend to see you i don't know there was something special there i do feel like there is a connection between the two characters but there's i felt like so much of the story especially later on in the book is really swept up in the sort of family drama and stuff that happens to her other sisters and it's a lot of the women just waiting around worrying not doing anything and i'm not saying that isn't what would happen at the time i just don't find it enjoyable to read that so overall you know, I chose this because there are many titles of Jane Austen on the list and I wanted to read at least one. I actually put a poll up on Twitter and I did a video and stuff. And so this was the one that definitely got the most votes. It's not the one I wanted to read, but it's the one that got the most votes. And I do feel like I understand it. I understood it, which is one of my other, like, you know, um, important things about this whole project is not important things, but something that um, I ask myself after I read these books, did I understand it? And I did, I did understand it, uh, but I didn't enjoy it. I just didn't. Um, there were some moments, but like a lot of the stuff is really long winded build up to like one moment. So it's like 80%, maybe even 85% slogging through. And then you're like, and then you read a really long section that's very explainy and wordy that tells a story of why a something happened and I'm like couldn't you just have said that like without four pages like I just you know and it wasn't that like it wasn't that long like it wasn't an extraordinarily long book it just felt like it took so long to get anywhere and just so much waiting and stuff so so I did not enjoy it however it was what I expected I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing <laughs> I don't know if I would read more from the author as I said, there's a lot of other works that she has on on the list. It was exciting to read a women author, a woman author from so long ago, because this is, as I said, 1813. Like, that's really cool. And it's really cool that we do have lots of her work to enjoy. I just wish that I enjoyed it. So I'm glad I got the cultural context. I'm, 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 I'm weirdly glad that it reaffirms that it isn't a good pick for me. Um, but again, one of the things that I'm coming to terms with this uh, project is that it's not all about did I enjoy it. For me, getting a lot of the references and and I talked to I did talk to people about this one. I still don't understand what it is that people like about Darcy, but I tried. I tried understanding it both from a reader's perspective and also from talking to other people. Um, and so I think that that is worthwhile and for me in terms of reading and community and stuff like there was a lot of engagement during the reading process and that in and of itself was also worthwhile and then of course getting to watch Pride and Prejudice and Zombies it was so much fun I actually thought it was a really good interpretation of the baseline story wow wow 
this is getting old. Um, yeah, I thought it was a, quite a good interpretation of the story, and it had a lot of the marks that were really important. I enjoyed the cast. I enjoyed the action. I enjoyed that it was a lot of kick-butt women, like, doing awesomeness, and all of that really worked. And, um, yeah, so out of the whole process, <laughs> watching that was, was, in effect, a good reward to give myself because it gave some motivation and also just a good reward on its own. So there you go, Pride and Prejudice. Thank you to everyone who suffered through and to everyone who enjoyed it. I'm not, I'm not trying to slight it as a title. I'm glad that people enjoy it. Everyone's allowed to enjoy what they enjoy. I feel very strongly about that. Um, but for me, this was not a great fit and it's good to know that and to move on to the next title, which I will do very soon. Thank you so much for watching.